What's up, everybody? Richard from True Shot here. Before we get into this reaction video, I just want to remind you that our next single, Deadbeat Lullaby, is going to be coming out on April 9th. I want you to hit the link below in the description, pre-save the track, and let us know you have done so down in the comment section below. It really helps us out a lot, and it really means a lot to me personally. Thank you so much, and now, let's get into the reaction. Go. What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam. True Shot back today with another reaction video. And today Go. we are checking out a Patreon request from Mr. Steven Santana. Now, Steven is at the True Shot champion tier, a very avid supporter of the band. Uh, very and much the appreciate. Yes, of course. I mean, I just I very much appreciate Steven. And he's got us checking out Gojira. Gojira. And their track, Remembrance. Now, the last Gojira track we did got blocked at first. So don't block us again. Come on, Gojira. Not that they probably have anything to do with it, but you know what? Listen, you, you're, you're, you're the it's scapegoat. true. I bet you they don't they have no idea. Yeah, they, they have no idea, but they're the scapegoats. So okay, let's check it out. This is Gojira. Yell at somebody. Someone Remembrance. Pay. Someone's gonna pay. Where's Rachel? It's <laughs> a live one. I think it is a lot, yeah. This could be cool. Separate song from Aroma. <laughs> aroma? Gojira, Gojira, Gojira. It is a it is a nice chanty Gojira. band name. It is. Gojira. Trisha. Doesn't have the same feel, but it's all right. It does. It's all right. Not as Gojira, but still. What are these? It's amazing... like wind chimes or yeah, something. Yeah, no, they're like uh, wood some wood chimes, like flutes. No xylophone. Maybe triangle. What? No. People are probably like, shut up and listen. How dare you talk over art? Oh, so the song is actually a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Dude. These guys' right hands go for days. A lot of bands in this genre have the guitar player also be the vocalist. It's like the Metallica model. Megadeth model, you know that? Yeah. Except every drummer is better than Lars. Okay. Dude, those dudes in the front are getting smashed. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Oh, you got some people putting themselves over. Ooh. Well, slow down. Oh, those are what are those uh, jorts? What's going on there? Always the same Is this the palladium? I turn What the hell? Jesus Christ, dude. And that people, is like... People think Amur has a lot of zeros. No, dude, this is just a... This is showing off, like, yeah. the talent level right here. They're just fucking around. I mean, it's always a point, a good I mean, way. Yeah. yeah. Insane. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I haven't given a score yet. I I'm just going to tell you, I didn't write much. I just threw a raw fucking metal. Like, I mean... The display at the end says it all. I mean, do you know how hard that is? <laughs> and it looked very difficult. I mean, they made it look easy, but do you know how freaking hard? Well, that break it break it down for us. What do you think? I mean, just to be able. I mean, first of all, the polyrhythm and the pattern. Like, I'd have to listen to that again. I don't know if there's any repeating or or pick up any patterns, but I mean, every. Kick hit and every chug was succinct. Like the They're articulate, very, very, very like tight. You, you could hear the articulation in the guitar, the articulation in the kit hit, kick. It was like it was mixed really well. Um, if they if that's if they took their live recording and just like you know EQ'd it and you know mixed it without quantizing everything like that, and they're they're doing that live, which which I'm assuming they're pretty freaking close. If not, that's it on point. Yeah. On point. I mean, that's insane. So, you know, I, I'm going to give that a 10 for talent alone. I and mean, it's not my normal type of metal, but, I mean, you, I have to give credit. I mean, that's just fantastic. Yeah, no, I really like the outro on that. Um, the rest of it, I, I mean, I liked it. Like, don't get me wrong. But um, I don't know. I just, it, it's it's kind of a... Not really, like, my thing. Like, it, it, like it had a lot. It's, like, very groovy and stuff like that. But, um the problem that I have is that it just kind of goes on for a while. That That's the tough part. See, for me. I took that in context as a live performance, you know, with the, and I, I've never heard the actual song. So I took it in this context. It's live. I mean, that the end of that song live, just as a display of. Yeah. I, all I can do talent, is assume, I mean, all I can do is assume that it is. The original song. The original song. I, I so I can I, it's, maybe it's not. I don't know. I gave it an eight point five. Okay. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was a really groovy, fun track. The, the dude, just the the patterns for the chugs were. Yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. Like that is so. That's hard. Yeah. No. I mean, you, I mean, you practice I, it and stuff like that. I, I get it, but like. I've been wanting you to do stuff like that, but you know, you just, you know, you just wait till Friday. What's Friday? As you see, our runners can follow our username, follow our social media, as well as Patreon and Twitch. Until the next one, peace. Hopefully, this comes out before.